All right, so today right. we're going to be <laughs> reacting to the new uh, Last of Us Part Two. This is a State of Play event. They're going to be showcasing, I guess, some new stuff. So we're excited. State of Play. That's like That's state of the art. State no, of play. What's well, maybe, that mean? Yeah. What's it's that just, really mean? It's just uh, PlayStation way of saying they're going to be showing off some new state games. State of Play. I mean, they, they got state things, of Play. It's pretty smart these people. I think. All right. All right, check it out. I'm Neil Druckmann, Vice President of Naughty Dog and the Director of The Last of Us Part Two. We're just a few weeks away from launch on June 19th, when the game will finally be in your hands. The wait has been long, and we're extremely grateful for your patience, especially now in the midst of these unprecedented and challenging times. We hope you're all taking care of yourselves and that you, your friends, and your loved ones are doing well. Because of these extraordinary circumstances, we can't be together in this final stretch and share the experience like we usually would. So today we're trying something different. Something we've never done before. My Dirty Harry. Over the next 20 minutes or so, we're going to give you an in-depth look into what awaits you in The Last of Us Part Two, including new details about the gameplay experience and story. And to cap it all off, we'll be showing a never before seen lengthy gameplay sequence. You'll definitely want to stick around for that. Definitely? Are you sure? I don't know what happened. I'm supposed to take her to the Fireflies and walk away. They were actually going to make a cure. The only catch. You know they were going to try. No one knows they're going to make it. They were killer. The Last of Us Part Two picks up Ellie and Joel's story several years after the events of the first game. Ellie and Joel have settled in Jackson. Joel's Wyoming, getting a little weaker the now. Amongst thriving community of survivors. Falling in love with her, like his daughter. With the threats of the world kept outside the town's walls. Jackson has been able to find relative peace and even stability. Where are, where is she? Ellie is now 19, lives on her own, and has been able to forge lasting relationships no, within guess. the community. So she's not with the... Scale uh, 1 to 10, how would you rate our kiss from last night? 1. No. However, <laughs> this peace is short-lived. Jackson and Ellie suffer a violent and traumatizing event. Ellie sets off back into the treacherous outside world in search of retribution and justice. Did he ever go back to what's his name, Tommy? Her journey will take her to new yeah, parts he, of the country that was the end. previously the unexplored the in the last of us. The story spans multiple seasons and climates. But did they go back to Tommy? From the snow-capped mountains of Jackson to the lush Pacific Northwest. Ooh, that's nice. Each introduces a wide range of exterior and interior environments for you to navigate and explore rendered in meticulous detail and unprecedented scale with the latest iteration of the Naughty Dog engine. Our goal was to make these environments not only beautiful, but feel as grounded and authentic to the cities they're based on as possible. Much of the story unfolds in what remains of Seattle, a massive former quarantine zone. Its locales are incredibly diverse, spanning a dense city center with a skyline of towering high-rises to the beautiful suburbs and stormy waterfronts that surround it. The city exhibits drastic shifts in architecture, elevation, and weather. And with part two, we've introduced new traversal mechanics that afford greater exploration and ways to navigate threats. Ellie is not only able to climb and jump over gaps, but she can use ropes to scale vertical terrain or swing over obstacles, allowing you to discover new areas, resources, and side narratives. Interesting. These more open environments also create new strategic considerations yeah. in combat, whether it's to get the jump on enemies or bypass them entirely. The last just, you know what the thing is, some guys, the how do you feel playing a girl dude? Horseback riding will make a double too? I feel play Tomb Raider all the time, so... And that's well, I don't know, I'm asking you. Some streets are so flooded that a boat... Yeah, I think, I think most yeah, people are fine. It depends, no, it depends on if they're forcing However, a female the character or if it actually is what the story is about. You know, like changing James Bond to a female. Because Lillian comes the path to finding those who have wronged her. She must face the many threats of this unknown city. In the wake oh. of the pandemic and the fall of the quarantine zone, Seattle pandemic. has become a war zone, no, no. where two warring factions find themselves in an ongoing conflict for territory and resources. 
One of these groups is the Washington Liberation Front, otherwise known as the WLF. The WLF are a militia group that began as resistance to the military occupation of Seattle and eventually wrestled control of the city from them. So they, they took are over the military? Trained, organized, and well equipped with weapons they stole from the army. They occupy much of the city, imprisoning or killing trespassers on site. Hey, we got another trespasser. A girl, did you see her? Trespasser, trespasser. <laughs> On the other side of this bloody conflict is a group of religious zealots called the Seraphites, or Scars, defined by the self-inflicted deep cuts that they bear across their faces. Like the WLF, they're deeply tribalistic and territorial. They're known for being stealthy, using overgrowth as cover, and they use more silent weapons like bows and arrows. Clip her wings. <laughs> But beyond this conflict among survivors, the threat that originally brought the world to its knees is very much present. Every human is in danger of falling victim to the infected. There are the recently infected runners who are more numerous and aggressive in this game. The blind but extremely deadly clickers and the stalkers who sneak and hide until they're ready to attack, surprising their victims with extreme agility and brutal violence. They the Last of Us Part Two introduces new guys. stages of infected, such as the Shamblers. Large, heavily armored enemies that are covered in pustules. Upon getting close to you, they expel a corrosive spore cloud that burns its victims. But our most terrifying and lethal new forms of infected will have to wait until you play the game for yourselves. Oh, Overcoming these threats will require careful consideration of how you approach every combat encounter and how you leverage Ellie's unique skills, equipment, and the environment to your advantage. The WLF patrol the streets of Seattle with guard dogs, which are capable of detecting and following you even while in cover. That's interesting. They didn't have they dogs in the last one. And alert they can track you to your too, presence. So. Listen mode will reveal your scent trail, so keep moving and cause distractions to avoid detection. Kill the dogs. 25 years after the pandemic began, the world is completely overgrown. Use tall grass to hide from enemies and go prone to stay out of sight. However, this form of analog stealth this means you're never fully hidden. Yeah, they should have if enemies get around. close enough, they can discover you, even in grass. When Ellie is overwhelmed, running away is a viable option. You can also break class or crawl through tight spaces to find new paths or areas to evade or take on your enemies. In any given combat situation, you can flee an encounter and reestablish stealth to regain the advantage. If you absolutely have to fight your way out, there are a variety of tools at your disposal. Ellie's more agile than most of her enemies. She can sprint and quickly dodge incoming attacks. Learning how opponents attack with different weapons and mastering the timing of your dodges will prevent you from taking damage and create opportunities to counterattack. That was a good move. You can use throwable items. But do you duck? I think you might have to press a button to duck. Like, how do you know what to do? How do you know what button to do? Well, it's just a simple, it's probably just one button to dodge when you're fighting. But how about holding somebody like that? How does that go? Ellie isn't always alone on her journey. Allies will take part in helping you navigate the environments, spot enemies, and meaningfully help you in combat encounters. Between the human survivors and the roaming infected, there will be times where multiple threats are present, creating new strategic considerations and opportunities. You can choose whether to attack these opponents separately and directly, can he come up with or to find ways to pit them against each other. Well, it's harder than most other things you make. It's harder to make this and movie. once you make the first fight, one, everything's a little more easy, you know what I mean? And engage Some of it, yeah. <laughs> Can 
use the enemies against the other guys. Because you got bad guys, you got the zombies, or the infected, and they can, can use them to advantage to take them to all out. Unparalleled attention, <laughs> coupled with deep systems that give you greater control and influence over your journey. As you play, you'll be able to invest in a broad collection of crafting items, weapon, and player upgrades through training manuals scattered throughout the environment and scavenging for ingredients. These skills and upgrade manuals cater to a variety of play styles, and the choices you make will create your own distinct experience. We also wanted to extend that agency and personalization to your weapons through our new workbench system. Scavenge for parts to modify and improve your weapon's performance and attributes, you can get a all of which are visualized and become part of your character. Survival will also require Sorry, using the parts and ingredients that you'll find in the environment, which can be crafted into a wide range of defensive and offensive items, like proximity mines, explosive yeah, arrows, yeah, explosive pistol arrows. suppressors, and more. are meant to immerse you in the world and make you feel in lockstep with Ellie's emotional journey. As we've said before, this is Naughty Dog's largest, most ambitious game. It may seem like we covered a lot, but we've only scratched the surface of what it's like to play The Last of Us Part Two. Until then, here's an extended yeah, sequence of different. never before he seen gameplay. He's pointing his hair to the Enjoy. side now, gelling it up a little. Try to look good. Try it. Try it. Oh, bro. This one. They can't hear that? Is that they shouldn't be making that noise like you can hear. That's the funny part of it. Why do you even make that noise? Oh, she has headphones in this. Hey, she tried. That's what happens. You try. She tried to get her, but she failed, so she failed. Where is Rumble wrapped up? Good. I'm going to go wait for the clock. You shit me. They put you in jail again. Hey, we get the job done. I bet you do. Oh, this is not fair. I'm telling you, man. Data soldier. It makes these shifts so much easier. Sure. I'll keep that in mind. Fuck. 
Sounds like scars are getting closer. Well, that's our guys executing us, freaks. Hey, did you hear the guy being called up to the phone? Good shot. Sure. Did I silence you? Yeah. yeah. Downtown. Hey, you had to be really good to put a pistol with a silencer on it to, no to get that from that no, range. That went down last it's impossible night. almost, really. Yeah, I'd say. Isn't that crazy? That's what I heard. Is that a Coke bottle? Yeah. Looks like it, yeah. Alright, calm down. Alright, calm down. Up them. No worries. Yeah. I saw like blood come out of this man. Charlie! Under attack. Let me hit him with a board. <laughs> I think I'd rather use a gun. Well, I'm tough cut down. <laughs> Look on these dogs in here. Burn them up. Burn, Burn the, the doggies. Dog. Sorry, doggies. <laughs> oh. How do they get Roxy. the How do they kill this? How do they get the sound effects for the whimpering dog? It's terrible. See? Oh, is that what she said? Yeah. She in there? Don't scream. Put that shit down. It looks pretty real, I gotta admit. You remember me? So they showed off some of the uh, mechanics and they showed off some actual gameplay at the end and it looked pretty good. Yeah, it looked pretty good. Yeah, I liked it actually. The animations and that was kind of gruesome. Looked pretty good. 
It looked really familiar to The Last of Us Part 1, if you want to call it Part 1. Um, so, they're not too distant from what the original game already showed. So, hopefully it's just a continuation and it's better. Yeah. But we'll play it and we'll review it. And Word. Check it out when it comes out. Only a few weeks away, so. No, this looks pretty good, definitely. Alright guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you go down, leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.